yeah, Paladin. It was a, uh, it was a, a pretty massive gift sub bomb. It was unreal. Okay, let me, guys. Okay, hold on. So the in match store, we got to talk about this. So I, I knew they were doing this, but I didn't actually know this was going to happen already. Uh, players feel like they're progressing in a match, scaling up in power while minimizing the snowball potential you see in other games as much as possible. Such we're implementing our take on in match currency in the store to spend it. You find the store either in your base upon respawning or in one of the contested stores on the map itself. Okay. Didn't want to just go down the route of stat increases and scaling as the pace and vibe of Super Squad is a lot faster and more zany. And we want to match that. While playing the game, you will earn shards, our in-match currency, through various means, which you can spend in the store to get class-specific conditional passives. These are effectively third and fourth abilities that the player is able to trigger through meeting conditions. We've designed the different styles as an aid to help players understand how each class can be played in an effective manner. All of what you're playing today needs polish, balancing, etc., but let us know what you think. The various means, guys, it says, kills, assist, pod destroys, pod assists, keys dis collected, keys at missile activation, missile launches, and missile diffuses. All right, specifics. Damage passive. So for the DPS players, kill shield. Upon killing an enemy, the trooper is roared with a 150 value shield, removed after four seconds or when depleted. If another kill is gained within the four seconds, added to the remainder and the four second window is refreshed. Shield is additional to health. So you're going to have more health than their total. Okay. Okay. One, two. Upon casting an ability, their next basic attack gains an additional 150 damage. Wow. Okay. Charge lasts for six seconds and is consumed on the next basic attack. And once fired the pass. Okay. So it's only a one time. That's, I was going to say, otherwise, that's super strong. Uh, in and out. Upon killing an enemy, the trooper replenishes one of their dodge charges on cooldown. That's actually kind of, uh, can be huge. If you're, uh, if you're playing as a, an assassin, that could be actually massive. Like, that could be huge, that, guys. That is so powerful. Hunting the weak. Whenever an enemy within 30 meters is taken below 25% health, the player's trooper gains a 25% movement speed increase. Wow, okay. That's cool. Anytime you can move faster, guys, that's huge. Hunting the weak. Imagine Sarge spinning while under a speed boost. Exactly, Russian. That's going to be strong, dude. All right, tank passives. This is the stuff that matters to me the most. Let me look. Let me look at this. Um, Berserker's Rage. When the tank is either dealt 50% of their 15% of their total HP within 1.5 seconds or is taken down to 20% max HP or below, they gain 15% increased damage dealt and 30% reduction in damage taken for 10 seconds. This effect cannot proc for 20 seconds after the initial proc ends. So that's that stays on for the whole time, eh? Okay. That's actually super good, guys. Rear guard. When out of combat for 5 seconds, gain 50% movement speed increase. Cancelled either when this trooper fires or casts an ability, not dodges. Or an enemy trooper causes any status or health change to the trooper. Okay. Honestly. It's okay. It's okay. Indignant. When affected by hard CC, the tank gains 20% damage increase for 6 seconds. Hold on. I forgot to change our category. Super squad. And then... Uh, super squad. Patch. Review. Then... Gameplay, exclamation mark, done, perfect. Okay, we already read that one, yep. You're not a fan of baptism by fire? <laughs> hello there, darkness, hello. Well, do I have to leave a bit of modest stream? No worries, dude. When affected by hard CC, the tank gains 20% damage increase for six seconds. This starts when the tank is actually initially CC'd, so the actual uptime of damage increases varies. Uh, this cannot occur more than once every 10 seconds. Wow, that's actually huge. That's huge. Because if someone CCs you, then you're just stronger. So all of a sudden, being a CC magnet as a tank isn't as bad. Mitigate foes. When two or more enemies are within 15 meters of the tank for 5 seconds, gain 12% damage reduction for 10 seconds. Cannot proc more than every 25 seconds. God damn it, Dan. Um, 
15 meters of tank for 5 seconds, gain 12% damage reduction for 10 seconds, can only proc every 25 seconds. I gotta tell you, that's good too. Man, that's strong. Okay, healer passives, battle mech. All abilities are off cooldown. The healer's gun damage increased by 40%. Wow, okay. So that's gonna give, wow, that's actually really good. You may have to, if that's some, ooh, I don't know. If that's easy to get, you guys may have to pull down on the healer's initial damage because 40% or make that like 20%. 40%? Yikes. That's a lot of additional damage, guys. Emergency aid. Every third dodge the healer performs causes a 5-meter healing pulse. At the edge of the dodge distance, giving the healer and any eyes the explosion a uh, heal over time effect, being 25 HP every second for 5 seconds. So 25 times 525. That's like, you know what? That's helpful. That's helpful. That's that's more like in line with what I would expect. I feel like 40% is a lot. Healing pods. Ability activates every 100 damage dealt to the enemy troopers. Whenever 100 damage is done, the enemy is killed. The target drops small healing pods, which either team can pick up once dropped on the floor. Healing pod heal whoever picks them up for 50. However, if the enemy picks up the orb, they are also slowed by 10% for one second. Pod disappears after eight seconds if not picked up by either team. And when the healer is hit by hard CC, they are given 150 shield, which lasts for three seconds or until depleted. Once the ability has proc, they cannot gain the shield for 12 seconds. 12 seconds is not bad. Man, you guys nerfed the shit out of CC, eh? Wow. Support passives. Wait. Healer passives? Support passives? I didn't even realize they were different. Okay. Oh, hey. I guess that makes sense, eh? Hold the line. When allies are within 15 meters of the support for 5 seconds, the support will activate this ability, and the two closest allies gain a 5% reduction to damage taken and 5% increase to damage dealt for 10 seconds. This cannot occur again within 15 seconds. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Trailblazer. Every third dodge the support performs leaves a damage over time effect on the floor along the dodge distance. This deals 30 damage a second for any enemy effect for any enemy effect within half a second for 2.5 seconds. You mean if any enemy touches it is how that works? Persists on the floor for 5 seconds. Anyone who's affected by the damage over time re-enters the area, has the duration refresh. That makes sense. Does not have a cooldown. Only determined by sequential dodges. Wow. Okay, so you, again, you're going to have to start counting dodges, guys. That's going to be a big part of this. Because if you dodge in advance to make it so you set up with that, that's going to be that's going to be crazy. Backline carry. Whenever the support is uh, awarded with an assist, give them 10% damage increase and 10% movement speed increase for 6 seconds. The effect can stack up to 3 times. Okay. Award in the six seconds. If the passive ends, it cannot proc again for 10 or 15 seconds. Yeah. That's not bad. Further work to come. Okay. New tab scoreboard in the UI. Perfect. In match UI reinforcement. We're adding in kill confirmation UI and we're adding in some sounds to help players know when they're being a badass. That's cool. I always like stuff like that. Ability hover overs. Yeah, I knew that you guys were talking about that too. Great. Some bug fixes. Known issues still. Wow. Guys, that's crazy. This is going to be an interesting patch for sure. Uh, there's definitely going to be some... They already said, obviously, that there's tweaking and stuff, guys. There's going to be some definite tweaking there. Because I guarantee you, some of those are going to be OPAF. Which means overpowered as f anyone wondering at home. Um... But it's still going to be cool. Until next week, no worries. No worries. I was, I said out loud to Sketchy Tink, no worries, guys. But I guess I should have said it like to them in message. We're live, says Eddie. Thank you, sir. I was just reading the notes. Didn't expect the patch this week! Exclamation mark. Wow, guys, that's crazy. Snuggles, you joining me for this still, or do you need a couple minutes? Hey guys, for more Super Squad content, make sure you're following the channel. Hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.